Okay, hi. Uh, it's that time of year here. Uh, we're we're in mid December, and the days are getting shorter and shorter. And here, at least, because of the mountains, I lose usable daylight at about I think it's about four thirty or so. Uh, well, the sun goes behind the mountains about four thirty, and I and I well anyway. Basically, what that means is I don't have a lot of time after work when I get home to do anything. So I'm pretty much stuck working on the weekends, but. You know, I could take advantage of the weekends, except for a day like today when, you know, well, well, Star Wars, the new Star Wars movie opened, so I went to see that. But that's not what I'm going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about now is my next project, and I think we are ready to rock. So um, anyway, with that, uh, I, I am going to do as much working as I can, just, you know, for the next couple of months, be patient because it's winter. So anyway, let's get started, shall we?
is a uh, chest of drawers, uh, jewelry box, trinket box, whatever you want to call it. This was, uh, this was actually kind of frustrating and fun at the same time. It's a scroll saw box, so I was doing the scroll saw, uh, the scroll saw box technique. But then there's all the other little details that had to be done: chamfering the edges, getting, uh, putting a back on the box, putting backs and uh, rolling out the drawer, uh, uh, carving out the drawers, and uh, putting backs in the fronts on those. And then, of course, other little details like adding the uh, knobs, and and then, of course, the base. And well, anyway, I did have two big screw ups on this, but I was able to turn around and do some modification. And well, basically, unless you know there, unless you know to look for them, you probably won't see them. But yeah. So anyway, uh, you saw what I did with the flocking, and all I did was I used some acrylic paint, the same color of the flocking, and then painted the inside of the drawer where I want the flocking to go to sprinkle the flocking on. I do need to let that cure for a while. <laughs> uh, not sure how long of a while, but uh, I'm going to give it at least a day before I like go in there and knock any of the loose flocking loose and give it a good shape, give it a good clean out. So, but anyway, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, like I, I think I said before, uh, that you need really is a tight grain, tight grain, but I, it turns out I don't like working with mahogany. Mahogany is like super duper dusty. Uh, and although it looks really good now that it's finished, I think maybe cherry would look pretty good here. Uh, well, it, maybe if you stained it, I, I, I think it would start off too light, but, uh, yeah, overall, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this. And, uh. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It, it does need a little something else, but I'm, I'm just not sure what, so I'll figure it out. So anyway, uh, with that, hope you're having a Merry Christmas, uh, uh, a safe and fortified Xmas, or whatever it is that you have to celebrate. And um, yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.